Hello everybody, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Wizardry 7 Crusaders of the Dark Savant. Um, yeah, we've, uh, we've come to a bit of an impasse here in Monkarama. There's something I'm missing, and, uh, I think it's got something to do with this well here. Um, I tried some other words, uh, in it. Uh, I guess we can take a look at it again real quick. Because, yeah, there's parts of this riddle that, I don't know, I just don't, it's not quite clicking. Um, so I know a thousand faces and count the tallied heads, feasting bright upon the eyes of the many who have died. I, I don't know. This makes it sound like it's a person. Um, this part is a clue as to, to who, I mean, it's all clue as to who, but like, bright upon the eyes, like, bright as in gloriously, <laughs> I, I guess. I don't, I'm not really sure. What the context of bright here is. I don't think it's got anything to do with light, though. Um, the new thousand faces count the tallied heads, so... I guess, um... Yeah, uh... It makes it sound like it's a person, but maybe not. Wielding well and mighty power, who hath but humble stature. Masses fall upon their knees to scarce behold my own knee's side. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I did just get an idea. But uh, I've tried some other words. I've tried the word Domini, which I get a hint from, uh, from the crystal map. I've tried Mind of Man, which is also in the crystal map. I've tried Mind. I tried Moo. The, the word we got from the Psy Beast back in the Dane Tower, just just uh, as a long shot, and uh, nothing seems to work. I also tried Helinda, which is a name that we have in a book somewhere, but I think that's for another puzzle, um, or somebody we'll encounter uh, later on, somewhere else that's not here. But this makes me think of, uh, what about war? No. Figured out, oh, maybe war is an answer, or I could try, uh, try one more, we'll try... Um, Conflict, maybe, but uh, I, I don't know. It makes it sound like it's it's a short person somewhere. So, what races are considered short in this game? I guess maybe the monks. Uh, anybody else? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna get out of here. I think. Uh. We're just gonna, I don't know, we're just gonna take take some time to ourselves and uh, just go explore outside the city for a bit, see what we find. Uh, there is also the uh, the tree encounter. I could go, I can go search that out, but that's way far away at this point. Um, I don't think did we explore all this? I don't think we did, did we? No, yeah, because we came out of that that uh, that hole there. So, we've got some more stuff that we can check out on the road here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll find something out here of interest that uh, we can do something with. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do for now. Just, uh, just to do something that's not banging our head against the wall. Uh, we'll just hide with everybody, I guess. These should be relatively easy fights, I think. I do think, I think there might be Komodos out this way, but aside from that, um, we should be mostly fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'm just trying to think of uh, any other place we might have gotten a clue about uh, about that, uh, that, the answer for that well. Um, maybe, I don't know, I, I looked through my notes a bit, and I didn't see anything obvious, so I don't know, maybe I need to go back and check out some of the, uh, the old footage a bit, um, or maybe we just haven't seen whatever this is referring to yet. And uh, we just need to 
you know, just do some more exploration. Okay, we got some more spirits here. We got some spirits here, rather. Um, we'll definitely just fight these guys, see if we can take them out. Before anything terrible happens, that's right, kick the ghost. Kick it back into the netherworld. There's one. Okay, silence, not a big deal. That's a little bit more of a big deal. Ow. <laughs> Okay. And there we go. All right, good stuff. Hey, we got a level. I'll take it. Got a few decent stats there. Uh, sure. Have uh, have some sword. Have some. I guess you pr you probably don't need shield at this point, huh? Um. Probably doesn't really need any of this uh, at this point. So, I don't know. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, you do need... some more oratory. Um, mind control, yeah. Almost totally maxed out there. I hope there's not a bug where you can't, like, get past the skill menu. Because <laughs> otherwise we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, a bug where, yeah, if you are maxed out on all your skills, you can't get past the menu. Um, that was a problem, I think, in... Wizardry 6. Without a bug fix, I could be could be mistaken. Uh, anyway, so theology is maxed out. Thaumaturgy, I think we're just giving you crit at this point. And quite a lot of it. And, uh, oh, Valkyrie spells, okay. Paralyze. I guess, uh, locate object, sure. And that is that. I actually wonder... What if, uh, I don't think I've ever, have I ever even cast Locate Object? Let's try it out. Oh. <laughs> Gives us a map. Lovely. Uh, so this is like the old Wizard's Eye spell. Um, cool. But, also a waste of magic, as far as I can tell, especially with the mapping kit in tow. Okay, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. Um, hmm, what do you do here? I think what you do here is, uh, run and hope for a better encounter. So we did get away. How much damage are we going to take in the process? Okay, that's fine. So now let's uh, let's save the game and we'll try this again. Okay. Yeah, so these are probably Komodos. We'll just fight them. Hope they don't breathe too much crap on us. Like that. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. But we're getting through them. Should be able to get them all in one round, I would expect. When there's uh, only the three here. And there we go. Alright, we should probably do some healing. And uh, honestly, you could use a bit of stamina like that. Let's go ahead and just do uh, some big old heal wounds here with a few people. It's nice to have uh, most of our magic back at this point. Uh, you could use quite a bit still. You could use a bit too. I think we'll just use a little bit more of yours to do uh, that. And then uh, some just a little bit of spot healing, I think, right there. And we'll call it a day. Okay. I guess I should probably at least, not with you. Um, probably at least do that, just in case. 
I don't, ex- I don't think we've ever found any secrets out here in the trees, but um, oh, I already went that way. Uh, but, you know, better safe than sorry, I guess. And we do have scouting as well. Um, pretty high level on some people, so there is that. Uh, I think we'll just fight these. Not sure what kind of birds they are, but hopefully they don't breathe fire. Definitely can hit us for quite a bit of damage. These might be more vampire rooks, I'm guessing. Oh, they're running away. It's int interesting. Did you stop hitting Richard, for Christ's sake? <laughs> we're all ganging up on her. Didn't quite uh, finish the group off. Vampire Vulture, sure. It's actually a pretty uh, substantial chunk of XP there. Let's go ahead and uh, cure paralysis on you. Hopefully that's uh, that's enough. If it is not enough, interesting. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. You're good. Let's go ahead and heal yourself, and we shall move on. Okay, um, I think you just fight these guys and then we'll try to put these other ones uh, to sleep. Just like so. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not sure we're going to find anything out this way. Um, we are essentially headed back to Oakpier, but I figure... At least this way we get some exploration done and we can always teleport back to New City or, you know, walk back to Monkarama one way or the other. But uh, there might be something of interest on the way. There's usually, usually something I feel like. Um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see what we find. But I think I'm going to have to really... Think about this riddle because I, <laughs> I'm definitely not getting it. I'm pretty sure, reasonably sure, that uh, that is what's blocking our progress in Monkarama at this point. They are grouped. Hello, witches and Mano Groves. Let's uh. Fight these guys. I don't know if we can put these guys to sleep or not. Uh, we will try. See how, see what happens. These things can definitely hit us. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Ah, I turned one to stone, though. That's good. I don't remember if these have uh, any magic or not. It doesn't seem like it so far. I think this is the last ho Hollow Weech, though. And even this one might be turned to stone. I'm not sure. Well, there you go. <laughs> Problem solved. All right. Let's just have everybody fight. And uh, you instead will do that. So I'm guessing the Hollow Weeches are the higher level opponent. But well, these could also be Halloweeches, I guess. All right, almost there. This should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good chunk of XP as well. Here we go. Yep. Not too bad. Okay. All right, let's just, uh, oh, our, I guess <laughs> either a lot of forced encounters or we're just getting that lucky. 
Okay, Ratkin, Hunters, and Terang. So what we'll do, I think, is fight the uh, the Terang. And then uh, we'll put the... Try and put the Ratkin to sleep. Poison Dart, very annoying. Let's hopefully... See if we can put these guys to sleep before they start casting stuff on us, because they might be rangers. I'm not sure. They are hunters, it says. Okay, there we go. The terrain also probably casters of some kind, but uh, they seem to be going down well enough. And there's only the one left, so let's just go ahead and uh, take care of this guy. I guess you may as well just do that, though. All right, let's finish these guys off. I think you actually need another stamina cast on you. It's, uh, it's hard work kicking everybody in the face all day, I guess. Okay, just a couple birds. Uh, more than a couple birds, it turns out. We'll fight them. And now uh, we'll hope that we can put these other ones to sleep. Uh-oh. <laughs> these are not the birds you want to see. Not at all. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think we might, um, I think we might redo this one. Taking too much damage for not enough reward here. There's once the game lets me start playing again. There we go. <laughs> I think I just saved. Yeah, sort of. Um, let's just uh, yeah, go down this way, I guess. So I think the encounter was right in here. Yeah, okay. Is this any better? A little bit. Let's go ahead and we'll try and put, put these guys to sleep, but otherwise we should be able to just kill them. Oh, nice. Got turn order there. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> Not going to complain, though. Yeah, I'd say this fight's just a little bit easier than um, four to seven fire-breathing birds. Of course, less XP as well. Uh, so be it. Okay. So that's all that sorted out. Um, let's just... Uh-oh, maybe you should have saved. Uh-oh, <laughs> it's the birds again. So these are fire crows. Um, let's try this. Let's fight them all. Except you... Maybe not you. Uh, actually, maybe, 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 maybe. No, it has to be someone else. Somebody's got it, I know. Give me a fire shield. 
was hoping somebody else could cast it, but uh, we'll uh, we'll do it this way, I guess. With you, however, we're gonna try one of those. Well, you have fire shield too. Uh, well, whatever. Um, give me one of those. Well, there's one down, that's good. Man, the attacks are good. It's better than getting fire breath. Like that. Okay, we got the fire shield off at least. And we've got uh some uh, some dummy uh targets for them to to go after. So these are probably fire crows as well, but we're just gonna start fighting them now. a little better. Vulture is not really working out, unfortunately, but we did make it through. I guess we'll, we'll stick with it. Not as much XP as I was hoping for, honestly. Alright, let's go ahead and just do a bit of, uh, Good old-fashioned healing here. And then we'll be on our way, I guess. Okay. This is uh, it's a very expensive fight, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, just a little bit for you. All right, getting to be about time to rest as well, but not quite yet. All right, now that that's all explored, we can go down this way. Probably save the game some more. Because of that. <laughs> okay, more ghosts. Uh, we'll just fight the ghosts, I think. Nice crit. Okay, we've got terror on a couple people. We'll probably rest after this then. Just to uh, let that fall off. No sweat. Oh, ranger level. Okay. I'll take it. This piety is terrible. <laughs> I'm noticing. Uh, sure, take some axes. And here... No, what were we giving you? Genuinely have no idea, so, uh... I don't know, man. Have some of that. Firearms is fine. All of these, that uh, doesn't really matter, so, uh... I guess mythology? No new spells. Let's rest. And then we will uh, continue exploring. All right, we're all rested up. Let's continue down the road, I guess. Mm. 
No, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if those are the skeletons that breathe acid or whatever it is uh, or not, but uh, nah, nah, I'm good with that fight. <laughs> uh, let's try some. Let's try again. I think the encounter is right here. Well, this is different. I wonder if we've seen this enemy yet. Well, we probably have. Um, I think we'll just we'll just try to fight them. I will be very surprised if they're susceptible to sleep, but uh, we'll try some sleep. We'll try some silence because I'm pretty sure these are spellcasters, or at least they can be. Yep. So they got some annoying spells, but nothing too terrible so far. Did silence a couple of them there. All right, good stuff. Not very much XP. Um, let's have you. Uh, well, actually, is it here? Yes, okay. Let's just try that on yourself. Okay. More Komodos. Very well. Uh, you... Actually, you, you fight, you fight. You can try one of those. We'll see if that makes any difference or not. Well, <laughs> a crit to the face will definitely make a difference. It's pretty good progress on the road here. Okay, how many? Too many. No, thank you. It's a fight where if it's not the acid breathing skeletons, maybe we get away with it by just like hiding or something, but uh, eh, nah. Right, this looks more reasonable. Two earth golems, okay. Uh, that one's new. Maybe we should. Maybe we should hide on this one. Just in case. Yeah, I think we'll do a bless as well. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. Those are low level enemies. Very low level enemies. All right. Good to know. Okay, so there's that, and there's that. So at this point, um, I'm thinking that we're, based on the map, I think we're kind of like right about there, halfway to Ukpir, is my, uh, my guess. So we got, still got a ways to go. But uh, we are clearing stuff out. Still haven't really found much of anything. I guess maybe we won't. Uh, you know, I think, uh, I think let's just fight these guys. Except you, maybe. Do you have anything? Could try one of those, maybe. And uh, give me one of those. Good crit. It's a good cast of blades. We don't use uh, the earth magic very often, but that worked out well. I'm 
Okay. I guess that is actually everything in that little section. More Earthgroms. Low level enemies, easy fight. Just what you want to see. Guess we're gonna have another fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, we sure are. Uh, just in case, we'll try another one of those. See if that does much for us. Not if we don't get to cast it. Get a little bit less lucky with the crits this time around. There's our magic screen. How dare you survive? How many times are you gonna stab this thing? Just one more time. <laughs> Yeah, imagine if we uh, had gone this way when we started the game at like level five. <laughs> it would have been would have been something, all right. I think uh, the that something uh, the word is uh, is unpleasant is what it would have been. All right, we'll definitely hide from. Well, will we hide from? Yeah, let's just hide. Let's just do it. Already put in the commands. I was thinking about it in asphyxiation. We probably solve this problem very quickly. I guess we can still give it a try. Let's have everybody else fight. Uh, except for you. Give me. Give me that. And you will, just in case it doesn't work, put those ones to sleep. Bear Weevil, huh? Interesting. I don't know if we fought a Bear Weevil before. Well, we got the the venom weevils, I think. That's something. And the boar weevils are asleep. He's got one more bear weevil to deal with. Okay, might get a decent amount of XP out of this. We'll see. Yeah, not bad. Uh, we do need to do a bit of healing, though. As it uh, turns out, weevils of the type bear kind of hurt just a bit. All right. Nothing in this corner. Moving on. To this corner and uh, a fight. We actually see Ukbeer from here, so we're almost there. Uh, yeah, well, don't do that. Uh, we want to use stronger attacks here just to make sure we can actually kill them. Uh, I wonder if we uh, experiment a little bit. Let's try one of those. I think I have tried that before, but I don't recall. Magic screen did nothing for us there, <laughs> unfortunately. And Blinding Flash did nothing for us. Okay, fair enough. I want to say maybe Ice Ball works on these guys. Low, uh, low water magic resist, perhaps. Oh, 
and a bard level. Your stats are actually looking pretty pretty good across the board. Uh, okay, let's give you. Um, I don't know if it really matters too much. On a dagger and scouting, I guess, is fine. Firearms is fine, and uh, your thaumaturgy is maxed. I guess we just give you more crit. Or was I giving you diplomacy? I was probably giving you diplomacy, wasn't I? I don't know. I feel like we'll get we'll get more diplomacy <laughs> later, maybe. Uh, but kirijutsu is more important, especially for importing. Well, that's interesting. Wait a minute. Locate object. In wizard's eye. Wizard's Eye is not what I thought it was, I guess. I'm going to get it. And then I'm going to cast it. Because now I'm curious <laughs> what the difference is. Give me... Oh, check it out. You can see on the map here, it just revealed a bunch of crap. I don't think it did that with Locate Object. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Not at all what I was expecting. Um, very strange. I don't know how, <laughs> how this affects the map, but uh, we're going to explore these squares anyway, just to make sure. Uh, eerie Moths. Okay, yeah. I think, we can, I think we can get away with fighting Eerie Moths. In fact, I think we can pro probably get away with... Something like that. Because we don't get paralyzed or put to sleep first. I think it might have overshot the, uh, the asphyxiate by a, a level or two. <laughs> a power level or two, but, uh, hey, it gets the job done. <laughs> oh, it doesn't get the job done. How dare you? One glow Mothra, Mothra left. Okay. There we go. Actually got a decent amount of XP out of that too. Okay. So I guess that's everything there. Well, this is different. Five Xeno Rocketeers. <laughs> sure. I thought these were like the Higardi or something like that. What are they doing fighting us? We met the one lady anyway, like way back at the beginning of the game. And they shoot lasers! On their, their floating jet skis. Their space jet skis. Well, a couple of them were asleep at the wheel, so that's something, I guess. One of them was petrified. They're uh, they're kind of tough though. What if these will drop anything interesting? They're worth a ton of XP, that's for sure, and we got a level too. That's nice. Uh, hey, there you go, maxed out on axes. Uh, why don't you get some uh, some hands and feet? I think for you, uh, more skill duggery is just fine. Firearms is fine, and uh, we'll get you get you some more crit. All right, Lord spells. Purify air, Superman. Yeah. Pure Stone, Divine Trap, and Death. Uh, Divine Trap is a useful spell, for sure. I think I'm going to pick up Purify Air, though. More useful in, uh, in combat. 
I do kind of like wish that we could get more of these uh, forest regions explored. But uh, unfortunately, there's no re no no way to do that without casting more wizard eye slash locate objects, I guess. Okay. All right, four giant lizards this time. We'll do our best here. Um, why don't you, do you have a... Uh, I thought he had Ice Ball for some reason. I guess not. You have Ice Ball, don't you? Yeah, give me, uh, give me one of those. Ow. Really wish I'd stop breathing all that acid. Very painful. I guess if we had taken a, a lizard guy or self, a dragon character, we could be breathing acid, but uh, didn't opt for that. Maybe if, uh, if I replay the game someday. Alright. One left. All right, let's go ahead and heal just a bit here. Otherwise, we're going to have problems, I feel like. It's uh, a little bit less healing than I was really hoping for. He's got 400 max uh, divine magic there. Oh, you're up 403. Very nice. All right, we'll we'll roll with that. Should put us more or less out of the danger zone as far as uh, most fights go. This seems like a rather large open area. Oh my god! <laughs> Please, no more, no more Komodo dragons. I thought I killed you all. Back toward the more of the beginning of the game. Uh, give me another. Uh, you know what? Let's try this instead. Uh, oh, wait, you don't have it. Hmm. What else, what else, what else can we do? I haven't tried this. Let's, uh, let's try a lifesteal and see what happens. I'm not going to waste, uh... Well, <laughs> not going to waste too many more magic points on lifesteal. But it might be worth a shot. To cast it at a higher power level one of these days. These guys might just have high divine magic resistance anyway. Or high magic resistance resistance in general for the most part. I don't know. Ice Ball was effective though. Should have had Ulu do a haste, probably. But uh, there's only the two left, so let's just see if we can finish this off. Okay. Just fights everywhere out here. Okay, I think uh, we can get away with this by just doing that. Then you will go ahead and do one of those, and you will go ahead and do one of... Actually, wait, what am I doing? There's a, there's a better way to do this. It's that. <laughs> uh, but just in case. You can put those ones to sleep. What? What? What do you mean, unaffected? Seriously? <laughs> Maybe I did have to cast it at the high power level. At uh, rank 4. Alright, well, we've got one of them put to sleep. 
We'll get the other group soon enough. There we go. I think that's all the Luna Mothras. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is fine. Just go ahead and fight those guys. And uh, you will put those guys to sleep for me. Might have to do a bit of a rest again soon. So what do we got? A couple left in that group, probably. Yeah, okay. We'll just finish those guys off real fast. Still not dead, actually. Oh, no, they are dead. Okay. That's because uh, Nerv was, was fighting the, the other group. I forgot. Good chunk of XP there. Let's just go ahead and get uh, this paralysis and uh, poison situation taken care of real quick. There we go. All right. Well, I think um, I think we'll call it here for now. But uh, when we come back, we'll we'll finish exploring. This uh, this bit of road here doesn't look like we have very much left. And then I don't know. Hopefully, I'll have I'll have figured out what it is I want to do or what I need to do rather for for Monkorama. Um, I may go back on and just experiment a bit off screen to see if I can figure something out. Um, and then uh, yeah, go from there. Uh, but uh, if we don't, if I don't figure it out, there is there's still a lot of game left to explore. We've got uh, the entire woods, I think, north of Ukpir still to check out. Uh, and we can definitely also go back to that that um, tree man gauntlet that I found out in the woods when I was looking for the Ratkin ruins. It was way out uh, like somewhere it was like over here. So uh yeah, we've got we've still got some options, some threads to pull on, so to speak. Uh, and uh, we've even got maybe even something out here. I don't know if we ever went to like Red Mountains or found whatever that is. So um, yeah, we've got uh, definitely got some options. <laughs> 